Hi everyone, Connie Fife here. Are you an event planner? Frustrated and struggling trying to find that right speaker for your next event? Connie Fife is an experienced, professional speaker. She has given hundreds of humorous, insightful, real-world speeches. A popular keynote speaker, MC, and event host, author of Amazon's number one book for 2013, The Art of the Ask, and Marketing Masters. You may not recognize the name Connie Fife. She is best known as Queen of the Ask, a professional radio personality, hosting a number one media marketing radio show. She brings style and substance to any event. Connie shares her powerful tools to help experts engage and release their capacity for change. She is a go-to source for business leaders. Connie is a real-world expert, a consultant and speaker for Fortune 500 companies and those looking to make their fortune. Connie will teach your audiences ways to get ready, set, and grow their markets. She drives results. Connie has met top business leaders and shares those experiences with her audience. That you, when you are speaking, that you are giving valuable content to somebody else, because that's also building your brand. How many in here are on Facebook? Okay, how many in here share what they had for lunch yesterday on Facebook? <laughs> or that you were at the gym? Or are you sharing that you're at Toastmasters? Well, that you could do. <laughs> that you want to do. You want to let people know that you are educating yourself. You are promoting yourself. Because when you're out there saying, you know, I'm at the gym, or I just had lunch, or I'm meeting up with my, you know, my, my BFF, and you know, my GOE, and my DOD, and, and I'm sitting there saying, what? I don't even know what half of it means. But people are looking at that as your brand. And whether you are in business for yourself, or you're in business for someone, someone else, you're still representing them. And you want to allow people to trust you. You need to build that trust. Now, I worked at the US Chamber of Commerce. I was asking for millions of dollars. I quickly learned the only way that that was going to happen and help my success was to build the trust. And these were with Fortune 50, Fortune 100 CEOs. All right, a little name dropping, it was Bill Gates. He was one. Donald Trump, somebody else. Norman Lear, I mean, movie directors, and just people that own these enormous properties and buildings and yachts. And, and I would get to go to them, and I would walk in and say, I, I just want you to give me a million dollars. And that was pretty much the extent of our conversation. Because before I got there, they knew who I was. I built that rapport with them. Donald Trump said to me, or I should say, I said to Donald Trump, why did you give me this meeting? Because he gave me a flat no. You got 15 minutes Monday morning, that's it. He gave me a flat no. So why did you take this meeting? And he said, because you were so persistent. And I trusted you. I know that you weren't going to come here and give me some BS. When I worked at Girl Scouts, the same thing. Now, do, do you think you have to build trust to sell cookies? You do. Because you're selling a cookie. It's a little girl selling a cookie. Then men's, mm, my favorite. But the cookie monsters, they want to know who you are. They want to trust you before they buy your cookies. So my role was to make sure that we were building a trust in the community and that we were financially stable. And then they would come back and they would all be buying our cookies. We'd be like, buy more, buy more. But even, with, even there, even at Girl Scouts, they wanted that. Come on, why do you all stand up? You can do it with me. Come on, everybody up. <laughs> everybody up. Two steps forward and one step back. Two steps forward and one step back. Now, I did tell you that they labeled me the rebel. So let's do it with a little pizzazz. Let's show them how it's done. Ready? Two steps forward. Woo hoo hoo. Little hip action. One step back. Two steps forward. Little hip action. One step back. All right. You guys are cool. You guys are cool. Oh, Girl Scouts, what? The ground fell out for me when they told me that my position was being eliminated. 
I was no longer going to be the CEO of Girl Scouts. I was devastated. I got together with another, another Girl Scout CEO and we would strategize. We're like, okay, what are we going to do next? So we thought, oh, let's be fishmongers. Well, that didn't pass. Then we were going to be truck drivers. And then we said we could do it. We could double team each other. So and we could do cross-country truck driving. Thelma and Louise, that was a thought. <laughs> but none of, none of that flew. For the next several months, I became very depressed. I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know where to go. I was interviewing for Girl Scouts from Miami to Maine because I wanted to work with Girl Scouts. And then shortly after that, and I get called into my doctor's office who shares with me that I was in early stages of breast cancer. And I was like, oh, let's just pile it on. A few weeks later, I go back to my doctor and I walk in and said, you know, doc, this bladder thing, it's just not shutting off. You need to fix it. My bladder wasn't working anymore. In two years, I had nine surgeries. In two years. So you could just imagine my mental state, my well-being at that time. I was 48 years old when I found out that I was adopted and I had another brother. When I connected with him, he said to me, I've been searching for you for 20 years. I, it, it was like calling somebody on a first date. I'm like, oh my God, it's him, it's him. Oh my God, what do I say? My husband's like, say hello. <laughs> I, you know, I just wanted to share panic about it. And ever since then, we have just built a relationship that is so close, that is so tight. Today, I am cancer free. The bladder does shut off when it needs to. <laughs> I still have a little bit of issue, you know, something about, you know, a bad immune system that I have to deal with, but that's okay because my brother has the same thing. And I called him, or he called me on Mother's Day, and we were sharing, and I was sharing how my health was progressing, and he's like, well, he goes, you must have given it to me because I got the damn thing to you. In his very southern drawl kind of way. Get back up on your horse. There's a very good chance you're gonna be knocked down again. Don't let it keep you down. You've been great, thank you. If you want a speaker that is going to make you shine at your next event, hire Connie and she will bring it on. To book Connie, call 909-758-1120. She will be the easiest speaker that you worked with, ever.